Uh, Dr. Cochran, your testimony, you recommended that Congress should require that the Department of Energy resume a search for a second site to complement Yucca Mountain as a nuclear waste uh, repository. You went on and criticized uh, the Department of Energy. I think you said corrupting the site selection for Yucca Mountain. Since the idea of utilizing Yucca Mountain has seen delay after delay, due, I think, in large part because of uh, uh, one Senate majority leader, uh, it's hampered further usage of nuclear power because of the question of what, what do we do with the waste. So, therefore, until we finally open Yucca Mountain as the National Repository for Nuclear Waste, I think it will inevitably prevent the federal government from adequately finding a secondary source. That being said, if you feel that the site selection of Yuc on Yucca Mountain has been corrupted, uh, what do you believe will occur if any secondary site is selected? And additionally, where do you recommend we look for a secondary location for a nuclear waste repository? Very interesting questions. Well, you've um, had some very interesting comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know that I have, have the answers, but l let me make the following observations. Beginning in the Carter administration, there was a, a genuine bipartisan effort to solve the waste problem. And they set up an interagency review to address this issue. And they came up and Congress passed what looked like a very good proposal. One agency, the Department of Energy, was uh, tasked with going out and systematically finding the best site. Second agency, the Environmental Protection Agency, was tasked with developing criteria for assessing the whether that should be licensed. And a third agency, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, was tasked with making the judgment as to whether the site would meet that uh, those criteria. Now, in the decades since, that's gotten all botched. I mean, the the site selection process was botched, and and knowing how the federal government works, they'd probably botch it again. Uh, the development of the criteria was totally corrupted. It's not an independent agency, EPA making these decisions. Before the decisions come out of EPA, they go into secret meetings at OMB where EPA and NRC and OMB and Justice all get together to decide what the administration's position is. So it really isn't independent of DOE. And, and here we are 20 years later and we have no final EPA criteria to begin with. Well, Dr. Cochran, I, excuse me for uh, interrupting because I have a shortage of time here, but I, some of us on this side feel that maybe they, they, they would, the process was corrupted politically more than it was uh, by the administration and that, the agency. That also. And I want to I address a, a question to uh, Mr. Fry. I, I, I don't disagree with uh, Dr. Cochran's concerns about uh, the nuclear proliferation potential uh, of, of spent fuel and obviously when you talk to the Germans you know that will that's always their big concern uh, and, and you can't ignore it but where are we in regard to mitigating those concerns in regard to reprocessing and uh, and indeed getting uh, some of this spent fuel that's in the storage pools at the 101 uh, current reactors in the in our country uh, into a final depository. If, if if you could address that for the committee, I think it would maybe allay some concerns that exist over this nuclear proliferation issue. Because I firmly believe that uh, the nuclear uh, power we need to go forward with it. But uh, I don't. I'm taking too much time. You go ahead and respond to that. Uh, let me respond to it this way, Congressman. First of all, it um, we are probably in the order of decades away from having a reprocessing and recycling operation at a commercial scale to begin to deal with the nuclear waste in the form that has been proposed, for example, by the Department of Energy, in which you recycle, don't separate plutonium, burn up the actinide, so forth, a lot of which can go into Yucca Mountain. But behind the question is, are, is, is in the intervening time a proliferation danger? about. 
And basically, in terms of spent fuel, there are a lot of proliferation dangers, but one in spent fuel, as I understand it, is not very high because spent fuel sitting at a reactor site or in an interim storage facility uh, is not separated plutonium. It's very hot, and it's just not a really good source of, fuel, of material for, uh, for weapon. So I don't think that, and, and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is basically storing this stuff first in a pool and then in a dry cask over a period of decades is perfectly safe. So I don't think that there is a um, large proliferation risk in taking our time to get the job done right on recycling and reprocessing. 